So I hope and a very good evening. Okay, um, my name is Mohamed Faizal Minos, uh, Security Officer at uh, Investigation Unit. So for today, I will give a briefing about uh, security department. Okay, so uh, uh, this is our our uh, department. Okay, it's located near the stadium gate. If you come from the stadium, the department is on your left. So Faizal, boleh yeah. um, besarkan atau buat slide slide show? Oh. Okay, boleh. Baik, okay, boleh. Okay, uh, this is our security director, Dr. Muhammad Azlan bin Ashari. Uh, uh, he is a uh, vice president for PAPUSM. Uh, PAPUSM stands for Academic and Administrative Staff Association. Okay, the role and task of security department USM. Okay, here got six main tasks. The first one is maintain peace and order in the campus. The second one is maintain and control the security of building, property, and entrance to the campus. The third one is prevent and investigate crime. So uh, if happen whatever crime inside the campus, uh, we are the one that will investigate the case. Uh, number four, enforcement rules and regulate traffic in campus. So, uh, in case happen the accident or anything inside the campus, so our unit traffic will handle the case. Okay, number five is firefighting in the early stages. And the last one is enforcing all university regulation. Okay, our working system in the security department is 24-7, which means it's 365 days uh, on Saturday, Sunday, and also public holiday. So uh, in, in security department, we run four shifts. Uh, got four shifts. The first shift is uh, we'll, we'll be working in the morning shift. Second shift will be working in evening shift, and the third shift will be working in the night shift. So one more shift, will be off. Okay, this is a campus gate opening time. Okay, here is our security department. Right. Okay, the Minden gate. The Minden gate are open from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, the Batu Ban gate open from 6 a.m. until 9 a.m. Same as Minden gate. Okay, the Sungai Dua Gate open 5.30 until 12 a.m. The Stadium Gate is a 24-hour gate. Same with RST Gate. The Stadium and the RST only is a 24 gate, 24 hours access. Okay, and the last one is uh, the Side Gate. The Side Gate open 7.30 a.m. until 9 and in the evening, open 5 p.m. until 7 p.m. Okay, this uh, this is the normal opening time. But for for CMCO, we have a new gate operation hour, which which means is uh, stadium Monday to Friday, uh, Monday to Sunday, open 24 hours for staff, student, and and contractor and so on. Same with RST. The Sungai Dua open 5:30 until 8. Uh, 12.30 until 2.30 and 4.30 until 9.30. Okay, the Sungai Dua is only open the, the small gate, not the main access, only the small entrance. Okay, for the Batu Ban, open Monday to Friday only, 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. Same with Minden. Minden open Monday till Friday, 6.30 until 9, then 12 until 3. Okay, this one our uh, peraturan from the uh, University of Malaysia. Okay, uh, this is our counter 24 hours. Okay, this is our investigation unit and unit traffic. 
Okay, uh, both of this counter open only office hour only. 8.10 until 5.10. For Saturday, Sunday and public holiday, this both counter will be closed. Okay, USM is a, a clamping zone. Each clamp that, uh, each car or any motorcycle that will clamp uh, will be charged 30 ringgit. Okay, this is the example of a car that have been clamped by our traffic. Okay, this is towing inside the campus. Okay, this is the example picture of vehicle that can be clamped. See, uh, uh, this, this motorbike uh, parking at the, near the Subaida entrance. This one parking at the OKU. This car parking at the side road. Okay, this is the signage in the campus. Uh, the, the red sign means stop, which means Burnanty is stop. Uh, P for staff only. The P, the P signage that were that uh, in the blue color is for staff only. Okay, this is the clamping zone sign. Okay, this is the no smoking sign. You cannot smoke inside the campus and mandatory to wear helmet. This is the no entry sign. Okay, this one is a dress code inside the USM. So if you guys uh, want to go to the class or school and want to go to USM, need to wear a proper dress code. This one for a sports, uh, casual and for the class. No, no, tell, tell okay, for the the sticker, okay, for the sticker is uh, one ringgit per sticker. One student uh, only will get one sticker. Car sticker is to access into the campus. It's a privilege. Please use it wisely. Okay, this is the... Uh, uh, parking for OKU. So if student uh, park their car inside the OKU parking, they will be summoned 50 ringgit. If staff, the summon is a 100 ringgit for the OKU. If, uh, if student or staff parking at the OKU more than 48 hours, uh, we will tow that car. Parking in the campus only for privilege and not for the rights. Okay, this is the this is the hotspot accident place inside the campus. Okay, here got a four hotspot place. The first one is Simpang Padang Kawat. Uh, Simpang Padang Kawat means at the, near the Simpang Indah Kembara. Okay, from year 2016 until 2018, got around 13 case accident happened near the Simpang Indah Kembara. Okay, the second one is the Simpang Harapan. Which got which uh, got around 16 case. Okay, the third one is Bulatan Koperasi. This one near the near the Subaida Cafe got 10 case, and this one is the Simpang Balai Islam got around 11 case. So uh, this uh, this data is for 2016 until 2018 only. Okay. Document for submitting claims for a broken glass mirror for car. The first one, uh, we need the driver's report. Second, report from the general staff, from the development department. The third one is report from the campus security guard. The fourth one is receipt of police report. Original copy of the police report. Copy of vehicle registration card. Copy of vehicle insurance certificate copy of the driving license, copy of driver's identification card, original receipt or repair work, picture during and after the incident. Okay, Faisal, um, this part is basically for those who park in the campus area and yes. suddenly um, 
found a broken window due to negligence uh, from the contractor who, for example, those who are, um, how to say, cutting grass, something like that, right? Yes, yes, correct. Uh, exactly. Okay. So, uh, this is the things a student need to understand why you can claim uh, this is due to the negligence, not your fault. Okay, this is for the student pass. Uh, bring along your student pass wherever you travel. Don't let your student pass used by someone else. The third one is make sure a report, make a report to security department when you lost your student card. We will give temporary pass for students to access into the campus for seven days. If God, anyone found your student card or and give those give the card to security department, then we will contact back that student to return back the card. Okay, this slide is for crime methods. Okay, this is the example of duplicate um, metric card, which is a student pass. Okay. Okay, this is the duplicate of the sticker. This one. Okay, uh, this one is the student jump over the fence near the Sungai Dua. Because our Sungai Dua gate will be closed at 12 a.m. So after 12 a.m., I've got some student that jump over the fence to go to the 7-Eleven and, and many shop in front of the Sungai Dua. Okay, this is the achievement that uh, from our security. Uh, Uber driver were cash for stole things inside the masjid area. Okay, this incident happened on 22 November 2017. Uh, Uber driver come inside the campus and go inside the masjid area. When student staff leave their bag behind to take ablution, this woman will take purse or any belongings that were inside the bag and leave the masjid area. So uh, for this case, security department set an operation and ambush at the mistake area for almost three months to get this woman. Finally, one day, we got this woman red-handed. So uh, uh, for this operation, we check the CTV and we, we work close with the police department to, to catch this woman. Okay, this, uh, for this case, uh, this person stole handphone inside the mistake area. Happened on March 2018, and this case we sent to police. Okay, for this case, this person brings drug inside campus using car. We stop him. We stop him in him at the gate and do checking inside the car and found drugs inside the car seat. So this case also, we will we we call the police and the and the police come to the security department and take that man away. Okay, this case is uh, this person do sexual disturbance inside campus. He disturbs student and ask for phone number and many more. Got a lot of victim that complain about this person. This case be sent to police station. This case happened on 2018, April 2018. Okay, uh, this case is a fire incident inside one of the USM building. This, these two foreigners enter campus without proper pass or permit. They didn't have passport and visa. So this case also we will send to police and immigration. Okay, for this case, uh, the, this 15-year-old boy was arrested for stolen money inside the Tabung Masjid. He got a few police reports before this. So if case like this, we will send, send straight to the police and we will call the parents to, to, to inform about this case. Okay, this one, uh, cleaner didn't have visa and passport. So three cleaner didn't have proper document, which is visa and passport to enter the campus for cleaning services. This case, we refer with the police and immigration. It's the cleaner. Okay. <clears throat> Example announcement from security department for crime case. So uh, uh, if happen any 
any serious crime inside the campus, like uh, a stolen or any crime, so we will do announcement and put this announcement at the uh, postcard. So uh, uh, here we have five postcard, which is RST Stadium, Sungai Dua, Minden, Matuban. So uh, we will put their, their picture and their detail inside the postcard. Okay, same, this is, a, is the drug case. This is the sexual thing. Okay, this is the, this now the 15 year old boy stolen, stole money inside the masjid. Okay, example case that will take to the disciplinary action. Okay, this case, a boy which is a student entered the <coughs> woman hostel a few times and go inside the woman toilet to do the recording. Okay, so for this case, we take to the disciplinary action. <coughs> the the uh, the the student uh, we were given warning and pro prohibit to enter the and stay inside the hostel. Okay, the third one is he suspend in, uh, from the university for one semester, which is sit down to sit down academic two thousand seventeen and eighteen. Okay, another case is two students do unmoral things inside the campus. Okay, this this case also we give warning and if happen again we will he will be expelled from the university, suspend from university for one semester. Okay, backing and ATM safety. Use your body as a shield when making a transaction at the bank, teller or the ATM. Keep your personal identification number, pay number private. Please don't put your IC number or passport as a PIN number. Take all receipt with you and avoid large cash of withdrawal. Loss of property. Okay. University property got to. Uh, first, you must make a report to security department and police. Second, report. And uh, the report must must be done within 24 hours. The second thing is loss of personal property. Make a report to security department. If necessary, make a police report. Okay, additional info during CMCO. Student that staying inside campus and want to go out from the campus need to fill up yellow form that are located at uh, got three place. Uh, the first one is security department. The second one is Sungai Dua Gate, uh, which is at, at the small gate near the masjid. The third one is RST Gate, uh, in the way out. So student need to show the form to the security that are stationed at the gate entrance. Then only student are allowed to go out from the campus. Uh, only only allowed to go out from the campus from six a.m. until eleven. PM only. Okay, this is the security department phone number. So in case for any emergency, uh, you guys can dial this number, which is 04653-4999 for emergency cases only. So for for the uh, normal cases or or anything, you can call the counter 24 hours, which is 653. 4333 or 4334. Okay, this one is the security department email ID. If you got, uh, if you got anything that you, you want to uh, share with security department, you can email to this ID, email ID. Uh, okay, I think that's all from security department. All right, thank you so much, Jafan Zal. So basically, we have questions here uh, regarding the um, what do you call the claim just now. Uh, for example, if Miss Farah, you mute again. Who mute me? <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you, Jafar Izzah. 
for 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 sharing with us. Um, okay, there are question in the chat box. Uh, perhaps you may not uh, be able to read through, but I'll just ask from here. Um, for example, if the car damage due to unforeseen circumstances such as fallen tree trunk, can they claim from this incident? Beside the cutting grass accident, ni dahan pokok jatuh, can they claim? Faizal. Okay, yes. Uh, for for this, this type of case, uh, the student can claim but uh, they must park the car inside the parking lot and have the sticker. I see. So they okay. must be officially use the area and they must have the car sticker. Okay. And the second question, um, how can students from USMKL apply for the car sticker? SMKL apply yes. for the car sticker. Okay, uh, this one, uh, I think you can call the unit traffic better because uh, uh, wait, I will give the unit traffic number, can? Right, so meaning they can apply also? Uh, okay, for the unit traffic, uh, you can just call six five three four three three one. So uh, the, the 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 unit traffic staff will brief to the student. I, I think more more detail. Alright, but basically, will the student be able to apply? Uh, this one, I'm not. I'm not very sure okay. about, about this because uh, this is the VSMKL. Okay, understood. Uh, Alright, so um, well, basically. Um, who, who asked that? Um, one second. Putri Sharafina, um, why do you need the sticker? Maybe you can email to us later so we will discuss further uh, if student in IPSKL would like to have the car sticker. So basically, um, what has been shared by Mr. Faizal is the uh, the things that you need to take into consideration as an uh, because security matters, uh, although you are staying in the campus, um, it is guarded, um, but still, um, how to say, bad people are always here and there. So just be careful all the time. Uh, based on the uh, shared cases, uh, there are quite, quite a number of, um, I would say, repetitive action the same thing happened um, around us and even the students also uh, if you are uh, how to say conduct do misconduct uh, there will be a disciplinary action taken on you because we are being governed by an ALKU so all of us are uh, how to say should abide to the rules and procedure uh, as stated in ALKU. All right um, if there's uh, no, no question further for uh, Mr. Faiza, thank you so much, Mr. Faiza, for being with us. And yeah, thank you so much.